today we'll be going over an introduction to angles. Now to understand angles, we need to think about a circle with the lines coming out the center. Now if we had two lines, when we look at the space between those lines, that represents an angle. Now an angle could be small, like this one, or it could be bigger, like this angle. It could be bigger still, like this angle, or it could go all the way around the circle, like this angle. Now the size of an angle is measured in something called degrees. Small angles will only be a few degrees, like this angle is 10 degrees. 20 degrees would be a slightly bigger angle. 30 degrees is bigger still. This is a 90 degree angle. A bigger angle would be 120. We could get bigger and see a 180 degree angle. Here's a 245 degree angle, a 300 degree angle, and finally a 360 degree angle. A full circle is represented or measured as 360 degrees. Now there are some other terms you should be familiar with. If our angle looks like this, if it's exactly 90 degrees, then we can call it a right angle. If it's smaller than that, say if it's 45 degrees, then it's called an acute angle. So a 45 degree angle is acute, a 60 degree angle is acute, and a 10 degree angle is acute. As long as it's smaller than 90, we can call it an acute angle. If the angle is bigger though, if it's say 145 degrees, then we call it an obtuse angle. So a 145 degree angle is obtuse, and a 120 degree angle is obtuse. Now that we understand a little bit about angles, let's practice identifying some together. Let's describe this angle. Well, is this angle bigger or smaller than 90 degrees? Remember that a 90 degree angle looks like this. So our angle is definitely smaller than 90 degrees. What is the name for an angle that's smaller than 90 degrees? If an angle is smaller than 90 degrees, we call it an acute angle. Let's look at one more together. Let's describe this angle. Well, is this angle bigger or smaller than 90 degrees? If we compare this with a 90 degree angle, we can see that it's bigger. What is the name of an angle bigger than 90 degrees? An angle that's bigger than 90 degrees is called an obtuse angle. Now let's go one step further. Which of these would be a reasonable guess for the size of this angle? Remember our angle is obtuse so it has to be bigger than 90. But it can't be too big. Remember, 360 degrees would be all the way around the circle. So a reasonable guess for this angle is 165 degrees. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. How could we describe this angle? Well, if we compare this angle with a 90 degree angle, you can see that it's bigger. That means this is an obtuse angle. And because it's obtuse, we know that it has to be bigger than 90 degrees. This one looks a little bit bigger, so a reasonable guess would be 110 degrees. Now here's one more to practice with. How could we describe this angle? If we compare this angle with a 90 degree angle, we can see that it's a little bit smaller. If it's smaller than 90, that means it's an acute angle. And because it's only a little bit smaller, a reasonable guess would be 75 degrees. Today you've learned about an introduction to angles.